Hello everyone, it's uh, Nick here, and we're loading up Rodland on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Storm Software in 1991. Uh, based on the arcade cabinet from 1990 by Jellico and Storm, also come out on a number of other systems, the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, the NES, Amiga, Atari ST, Game Boy, and even iOS for phones. But basically in this game you control a couple of fairies, either Tam or Rit, their mum's been kidnapped, so for some reason you have to, um, yes, complete 40 levels. Nice music on this one, quite nice. This is on the 128k, I did say 48k, I got that wrong, the music reminded me it's 128. But basically you have to go through all 40 levels, um, it will soon become self-explanatory, you can, um, well, develop ladders that go up and down, and you must collect all the plants and destroy all the nasties for bonuses. Well, so we'll soon get a hang of it, so let's whiz through this thing. Come out on another other systems, as I said. My one, this this game plays really well. My only disappointment is it's in monochrome on the ZX Spectrum, and I think they could have given it a bit more colour than this. So this is scene one of forty. Now look, that extra word in blue, we'll light those up to um, try and get an extra life. Right, here we go. So it starts off quite straightforward, but I've only played this game once before from a recommendation, so I'll probably make a complete pig's ear of it. So you see the um, the baddies here, and we can whop them like this to get bonuses and so forth by pressing the fire button. So that's fairly easy to do. Don't get killed. Right, so we've killed everyone apart from one. Right, let's collect the plants now at our own leisure. Oh no, I've done that in the wrong order. So, so collect the plants first, then kill the baddies. Yes. I can learn by my mistake. Oops, and I've died. So I can learn by my mistakes. But really nice sounds on this one for what there are. Uh, plays quite well. Uh, your character, uh, Tam or Rit, uh, can fall down an unlimited distance, but it's only ever one screen each time. Now when it's up against uh, Rainbow Islands at the time, which, oh dear, that wasn't good, which had colours everywhere, this does lack with the monochrome, so it loses a mark for that. But it isn't a bad game, nice cutesy graphics, um, animation of what there is is quite good. Um, well thought out level design, oops, and I can't get off the screen. So we've only got a limited amount of lives here, but you might have spotted you can have one or two players, so a bit more fun there. Uh, it's turn-based, you can't both play at the same time. And that's when the player 2 controls Rit, I presume. But as I say, you're a couple of fairies in Rodland. Yes, that's not as rude as it sounds. So we clicked in an R there for extra. Hopefully we'll do that the whole word on one level. So Rodland isn't rude at all and um, curses you for thinking that way. May load this on the Amiga at some point as well, see how they compare. Right, so it's getting a bit tricky, but we're only on level 3 now. Hmm. So, the secret of being good at this game is knowing when to um, do your ladders and take others away. Yeah, that'll do us. Whoops, that won't do us. Yeah, so there you go. Game over! It all ended so quickly, didn't it? I think, um, I think it's well worth having another go at this. Now your character has a rod or um, a magical wand and that's how he whops the um, enemy to pieces really. So collect flowers, whop the nasties, it's a cool platform game. Right, so quite basic and quite addictive as well. It always is the, um, the basic games that are most addictive. I never played this in the arcade so if you did comment below I know that was a lot more colourful than this but I won't keep going on about it. How did the arcade game compare? I need to get MAME set up so I can see for myself, really. Yeah, so I'm doing a bit better this time. Good, so that's the first level done quite easily. Right, let's choose our strategy here. Uh, I presume I presume his mum gets rescued in the end. Well done, Storm Software. So 1991, it was from the late Spectrum era when the Commodore Amiga and the Atari ST were starting to take over. My favourite era of the Spectrum games is pre-1985, the early ones. After that, there's a few good ones there, but they're trying to trying to be more advanced. They're, they're losing their basicness, which I, which I like. Right, so that's the E. 
That's the X. I don't think we've got enough to get the whole word, have we? Boo. And I don't think it carries over to the next level, which is a bit of a shame. So E, X and R. If you leave those letters, they do cycle around to change gradually into a different letter. Right, this is where we died last time. Let's see if we can advance past level 3. See, look, a ladder. I would have died there, but we just got out of the way. I don't know what these things are attacking us. Are they fish? They look very odd. It's a strange land. No option to jump, so just fall down and go up or down ladders. There we go. You create one ladder, another ladder normally disappears. Right, so two flowers left. Let's see if we can... Oop, oh dear, and I died. So you see the letters did carry over from the last one, so that's good. So it's, what do we need now? We need a T and an A. An E's no good. See, it's changing. X, T, right. If we can get down there. Get T, that'll do us. So we need an A. Oops, didn't need to do that. Change to an A. A. There we go. Boom! What does that get us? Extra bonus 5,000 points. Well, that's not bad, is it? That's better than a slap round the face. I don't know why those... I, I want those um, in-between screens to show a bit longer. For some reason on this version, which is emulated, that's just flashing off the screen straight away. Now, this level looks pretty tricky. What the hell am I doing here? I think we have to kill the crocodiles. I think. Oh, dear. I think this is when my luck's going to run out here. Uh, how do we whop these crocs? Maybe we we kill these little things and they smash into them. I think maybe that bomb that went off on the stage before might have been helpful. How do we get that back? No, we can't shoot them directly. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Right. So, hmm. It's going to be more luck than judgement here. Our points are 28,150. So is that good? Oh dear, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. The other stages more seem more... Oh, that's a bomb, is it? Yeah, that's it. Win, it said. So we have to keep doing that. I don't know how many we got to get before we take these crocodiles out. Hmm. Yeah, so sorry about getting it wrong earlier on. I thought it was a 48k version, but as soon as the music played, I knew it must be the 128. The music's already always a dead giveaway. On the 48k, it's a bit like, um, well, it's a bleeper, isn't it? On the 128, it's got a bit of extra oomph. Man, if this had a bit of colour in it, it'd be awesome. Bloop. Right, I don't think we're going to complete all 40 levels, you know. I don't think we're going to complete four levels. I don't know what the game over sequence is on this one. But it would look quite cool as an arcade game. I wish I had played it in a lot of ways. 1991. I'll be interested to see what it looks like on iOS on the phones. I didn't even know it was out on that before I started the research into this game. My research says it's on the Game Boy as well, but not the Game Boy Advance, which is a bit, bit, bit of a bummer. I'm making no progress fast here. I think we could be game over quite soon. Yes. I've committed suicide by crashing into a crocodile. Game over again. So that was quite a cutesy game, well put together. I was quite impressed with it, although not blown away. The music is great. Uh, Rod Land by Storm Software in 1991. Hope you liked having a look at that one. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Until next time, take care and goodbye. Goodbye.